we want to find original price uh, of this iPod. Okay, what does it say? The sale price with a 30% discount is 56. So this is an iPod which is selling at $56. And what uh, we are told is there is a 30% discount on it. We want to find what's the original price. So we'll start like this. Let the original price, let the original price, let me write OP, is equal to X. So uh, this 56 is X minus 30% of 56. So can I say, well, you can say, well, X, okay, so let me write this like this. So instead, can you write this as, this is the original price minus 30% of original price is equal to say 56. That's what is given. The 30% was taken off from the original price and then that price was 56. So let me say if original price is X, I can say in place of OP, I can write X minus this is 30% as a decimal is 0.3 of x is equal to 56. So this is say 1x minus 0.3 of x is same as writing 0.3x is equal to 56. Well what is 1x minus 0.3x? That is 0.7x is equal to 56. So now I want to cancel this 0 0.7. So I'm going to divide this side by 0 0.7. So you have to divide this side by 0 0.7. So that is x is equal to, I'll write it here, uh, 56 divided by 0 0.7. So let me delete 56 divided by 0 0.7 is 80. The price was $80. Okay, so if you think about it in a different way, well, let's check the answer before thinking in a different way. So what is 10%? Okay, 10% is of 80, 10% of 80 is $8. So 30% is three times of this, which is $24. Just to check your answer. So 80 minus 24, 80 minus 20 is 60, and then take away four, which is $56. So our answer is right. So let's think in a different way. How can we do this in a different way? Now when you're saying there's a discount of 30%, there's a discount of 30%, how much are you paying? In fact, this whole thing can be written as, say, 70% of the original price of X can be written as point for, uh, is equal to $56. The same thing can be written as 70% of X is 56. And that's what we have got here, yeah, 0 0.75, 0 0.7 times X is 70% of your original price. So this is one way of doing it and this is a direct way of doing it. Okay, so let me look at one more question. This is a house. What they're saying is the present price with 20% increases $420. What's the original price? So we're going to use the same strategy. Let the original price, let the original price, original price be equal to X, be equal to X dollars or X. So this, I can say, well, this is X plus 20% of X is equal to 420,000. So this, I can say, well, that is X plus 20% as a decimal is 0 0.2 times X is equal to 420,000. So this is X plus one point x plus point two x is equal to 420 
and this is 1x plus 0.2x is 1.2x is 420. I want to cancel this 1.2 from this side. So I'm going to divide this side by 1.2. So if I divide this side by 1.2. So your answer is x is equal to this divided by this. So let me get a calculator. 420,000 divided by 1.2 equals 350. Uh, yeah, the original price was 350,000. Okay, it was 350,000. And it has increased by 20%. It has increased by 20%. So 10%. So let's just check the answer. So 10% is 35,000. Uh, 35,000. So 20% is 70,000. This is 70,000 and 35,000 plus 70,000 is 42,000.